Hello Capitans, uh, my name is Chris and welcome to my, my second video about how to build, build panels and how to set up devices for flying. Okay, my first video I covered how to build uh, panels, main panel and overhead panel and um, pedestal. And today I will cover how to set up radio panel. Uh, so you need to start with going to a site called spad.next and they have they offer a couple of devices. I bought radio panel which is shown here in the middle. So after it, it um, I spent around 50 American dollars a few years ago and now it might be a bit more but um, after you buy it, you buy the panel, you buy the driver, so oh, you, well, what you need to do is going to so, uh, we, and uh, going to settings. Okay, just opening the driver. Uh, this is the, the driver. What you start with is going to importing your profiles. So you go to online profiles. You can do it manually, but the easiest way is to going to online profiles and it offers you a few profiles uh, for, for various of um, aircraft, a, a lot of them, a lot of them. So for me, it was a matter of importing PMDG 737 uh, yes, with FSUIPC, which would be probably this one. So I would uh, import and activate. I already did, did, um, did it. So when I go to settings, I have my uh, SPAT uh, profile, default PMDG737. I can do some uh, settings so I would go to the upper part of the panel and check settings what I did have to do is <coughs> going to because the activate button was not uh, behaving as I wanted to be so I just double click on this <coughs> open settings in in the in the bottom part there is add action I would uh, change uh, the action I want which is activating and so it's a swap the, act, the event is swap so I have swap I have swap radio control so for FSUIPC that, that's what I did and I clicked on OK also I had to change this for the bottom part, I would uh, go to activate button and uh, add action and I would again type swap, swap and I have two options, I chosen uh, slow control for FSU IPC. Yeah, that, that's what I did. But maybe if if you perfectly find a profile that you fly is um, appropriate for your aircraft, you hopefully don't have to do any changes in settings. But it's very comfortable, and it's got a lot of options, and you can like do everything with this. Uh, very flexible. Yeah. So after this, I have my virtual power on. For my profile so I go to straight to the panel and I start with squawk let's say the controller says your squawk is 1000 so I go to first digit turn left to one click next digit zero next digit turn to the left zero and next digit turn to the left zero. So I have squawk 1000. When I go to my um, 
my pedestal, I can see it's 1000. So, and when I turn, I just turn and the numbers increase or decrease. Yeah. Next time, the next thing you need to set is set is the radio frequency so you can communicate with uh, with the controller. So let's say this is let's say the ge general um, uh, frequency, uh, which is one to two decimal eight. One to two. So turn left eight and with the with the smaller knob turning to 8 and with the bigger knob small and bigger knob turn to so this is unicom 1 to 2 decimal 8 activate it goes to the left oh, actually ok let me change to something else because they are the same value so let's change 1 to 2 decimal 8 to activate 1 to 2 decimal 8 to goes to the left so I go to my panel and I have I can see 1 to 2 decimal 2 uh, now before landing when you have ILS frequencies you need to set, set NAV 1 and 2 for the ILS so you turning this knob to uh, NAV NAV 2 and then let's say the ILS frequency is one one zero decimal eight one one zero decimal eight activate goes to the left one one zero decimal eight then we turn this knob to nav one nav one 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 zero decimal eight was it that one one zero decimal eight Small enough and big enough. One one zero decimal eight. Activate. So we have nav one 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 zero decimal eight. We have nav two one one zero decimal eight. We go back to our squawk. So now we have on the capitan side one one zero decimal eight for nav two. LS and one one zero decimal eight for 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 second pilot side for the NAF one so they they are the same for the ILS so this is pretty like convenient because when you're flying and there is a turbulence it's pretty hard to turn the knobs you have to like put your mouse above the knob and turn left or right the smaller knob and and now the the bigger knob and if when everything is moving and bad weather and we have bad weather you have turbulence you you talk to the controller you are busy it's pretty hard to put your mouse exactly uh, uh, above this point and turning so having this panel it's very very convenient way and makes your flying really a pleasure okay thanks guys for watching my video and uh, see you soon thanks